Another brick fan here with day six of our advent calendar builds for 2020. I'm reviewing three of the advent calendars for 2020 with Harry Potter, Star Wars, and City. Let's take a quick look at the builds we've seen so far. Here is Harry Potter with a couple of minifigures, a couple of vehicles, and the Hogwarts castle there. Moving over to Star Wars, we also see two vehicles, a terrain feature or building there, and then two minifigures. And unsurprisingly here in City, we see the same kind of mix. We have two vehicles, two minifigures, and a building. So let's go ahead and get into the day six builds now. Starting off day six with Star Wars, let's take a look at the build for today. And it looks like a tie dagger. Here is the completed tie dagger. I like how the, they use the trans pieces in both the back and the front. You can see a little bit of that red shining through to the front of the tie dagger. Obviously the sloped or triangular shaped wings here. Engine in the back. I think they made excellent use of this stud on the side one by one. It's got studs on five sides which are all used here and all covered with either the one by one stud or a one by one tile. Overall I think it's a really nice representation in this micro scale. Let's take a look at Harry Potter. Next up is Harry Potter day six. Let's take a look. And it looks like the Goblet of Fire. So here we have the Goblet of Fire. It's all done in this dark reddish brown. I like the textured piece down here on the bottom. And then they used one of these small post pieces, the stud with a little post on it to allow us to turn the dome upside down. The flame is done in this trans blue with the sparkly elements in it that you saw with the Patronuses that they've been releasing over the past couple years. So I think that's a nice touch. It's a little plain and certainly quite large, but I guess it's pretty close to scale. I think maybe they were, the goblet was about the size of a person in the movie. Once again, they use this five stud on the side, one by one piece here, and then just covered it up with these one by one tiles for a pretty nice effect. Let's move on to city. Here we have city. Let's take a look at day six. And it looks like a building probably, oh, it's got the octan colors. So it's probably a gas station. The red, white, and green octan colors seem to be pretty prominent here. Here is our service station. Now that I see it built, it really does stand out. So this would be the pump over here with a cover over it. And then this is the store itself. Would have been nice to have a little printed tile here, maybe with a gas tank or something like that, or the big O for Octan, like they did with a police station, but they probably didn't want to do a custom print on this size. Overall, I think it looks good. And like I said, it's got the nice red and green Octan coloring. The, the use of these headlight pieces switched back and forth, right? So one has this large opening probably representing the door and then the other has the stud piece forward so we get the window. Uh, clever use of these small pieces and again, a nice model in this micro scale. Let's go ahead and sum up today's builds. Here are the day five builds with the tie dagger from Star Wars, the goblet of fire from 
Harry Potter and an Octan gas station here from the city set. These little buildings in the city set are actually really nicely done. And after taking a look at them built, they, they do are pretty recognizable. Pretty plain Goblet of Fire. I think I would have liked to seen a little bit more color, but I do like the fact that they use the flex inside of this trans blue fire piece like they do with the Patronuses. So I thought that was a good touch. And this tie dagger is really well done. Uh, very efficient use of parts and I like how they put it together and with these trans elements like I said you can see some of that red shining through from the engine all the way through the cockpit. Maybe not accurate to what the ship would actually look like but I think kind of a cool effect here in this micro scale. So I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on day six builds and I'm going to get started on the next day. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I left a link to my advent calendar playlist up here on the screen.